Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld with a digital rebar RackN demo, this time showing an integration between RackN and Honeycomb.io. Uh, super easy to use, increases the observability and logging and ability to share and, and troubleshoot what's going on in digital rebar system. And I want to jump right into it because uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, so I'm going to go in, I have an endpoint running here with two machines, uh, provisioned, ready to go, uh, and I've got a Honeycomb.io, I've already created my account, I've got my, my keys and all those pieces and parts running. So, uh, you know, I'm going to count on you watching some other videos to see how Digital Rebar works. I'm going to sort of jump right into the meat. We have these things called plugins that allow you to take a uh, server side or an endpoint, we call the endpoint, Digital Re Rebar endpoint actions and events and send them or to do things with them. Like IPMI is a good, out-of-band management is a good example. Um, in this case, uh, we have the Honeycomb provider is in here. Um, I got this into this list. It's not going to start there by default by going into the rack and catalog. So the rack and catalog is going to have, this is an option. If I don't have it installed, it'll be a, a, a green plus for me to add it. So I, I literally have done that already. It's already in my system. And if I go back into uh, my portal, here, what I'm going to get is I can go over here back to plugins. Uh, I do not have it installed right now, so I have it as available in my in my organization. I'm going to transfer it to my digital rebar endpoint. So it's literally taking it from Rackend's uh, SaaS catalog and giving me uh, this specific version instance uh, into that endpoint. So if I have multiple endpoints, I'm going to have to do this for each endpoint. It of course can be done command line and automated and, and all sorts of things like that. Once I have the provider, I still have to enable it in the system. So to do that, I go into the plugins option. Oh, I already have my Honeycomb plugin. I'm going to delete this one. My last system crashed. I didn't do all my cleanup correctly. Uh, but in this case, I want Honeycomb. I'm going to take my provider. Uh, all I need to do to make this stuff work is I'm going to take my Honeycomb write key, uh, which is what you get when you create your account. So I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to create a data set. We're going to call it RackN123 uh, for this case. So we'll give it a unique name. I'm going to add it. As soon as I add it, it starts sending events to Honeycomb. So literally the, the RackN event log, this you can see it in the system is now capturing and forwarding events into Honeycomb. I want some events to actually make this demo look a little bit more interesting. So we're going to go in and provision a machine. So I'm going to go and let it do an image deployment. Let's see if I can actually pick it off the list correctly. I'm going to hide this here, image deploy. So I'm going to start an image deploy process and that's going to generate a whole bunch of events into the systems. Um, that I'm going to be able to then track for Honeycomb. So remember, because of the plugin, everything that has to happen is literally going through the system. I haven't started the VM yet, so I need to power it on. So in the background, that flash was the VM starting up. And so the machine's going to go boot and do the things that it's supposed to do. Over here, uh, I can power on the other machine. It'll just boot into our regular sledgehammer process. So my point here is not to demo Digital Rebar. There's plenty of demos of that. Uh, what I want to do here is show you what it looks like when we get uh, the events going that are coming into the system into Honeycomb. So. Now I'm back over into my Honeycomb system. I refresh here. The data set that I just created, Rackin123, is available. Uh, and now I can come in and all of the things that, that we're sending are available. I'm going to pick the type of event and I'm going to choose to do it as a count. So I want to know the number of, those, of each type of event. I'm going to run this query. Uh, let me get this machine out of the way. Time scale is a little big for me, so we're just going to pick uh, one minute ago because the demo is fast. And when I do that, what you'll see is these are the events that Honeycomb is sending. So literally, as we go, um, I'm now sending real events from the system. So if I wanted to share troubleshooting, I could literally send data. I could have, uh, if you have Digital Rebar on site, you can share it with RackN. We can help you troubleshoot what's going on. Uh, look at performance data. We can look at the raw data coming in. 
um, literally just a JSON stream coming out of that endpoint. Um, and we're able to look at that and then use Honeycomb's observability to try and figure out what's going on or track events or figure out if there's something we need to manage better. Um, truly an incredibly simple way to take an existing application, an existing endpoint, and then pull all sorts of information out of the, the digital exhaust, the log streams that are coming from this, this infrastructure. So uh, that's it. Sign up for a Honeycomb account, download, install Digital Rebar, and this install the plugin you are set to go. Um, a lot of fun. I hope you like this demo. If you're interested in more, please ping us on Slack. We would love to talk to you more about how this works and also digital rebar features in general. Thanks a lot.